the Duomo of Orvieto is the main church and symbol of the city, as well as one of the most striking and gorgeous cathedrals in Italy and the world. Its construction began in 1290, under the direction of both the Comune and the Pope. The main purpose was to build a large, unique cathedral dedicated to Santa Maria Assunta in Cielo, St. Mary, that could replace the two original churches in the square. The Duomo is a magnificent building, architecturally defined as unique example of Gothic and Romanesque styles mixed. Its facade is one of its most impressive features, with four spires that lay on four large bas reliefs, each representing scenes from the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament and Judgment Day. The three enormous bronze doors were created by the Sicilian sculptor Emilio Greco. In 1970, these doors replaced the original wooden ones in order to avoid complete deterioration. Other important elements of the facade are the canopy, dedicated to the Virgin Mary and placed on top of the main entrance, and the bronze statues representing the four evangelists. The angel, St. Matthew, the lion, St. Mark, the eagle, St. John, the bull, St. Luke. The wonderful mosaics are dedicated to Mary, too. They tell the story and life scenes of the Virgin, starting from the Assumption to the Nativity and Coronation. A central element of the Duomo facade is the rose window, designed by Andrea Di Cione, also called Orcagna. It is composed of two rows of columns with crossed arches, and in the middle is the face of Jesus Christ. Arnolfo di Cambio and Lorenzo Maitani important artists of their time, joined efforts for the design of the Duomo, along with several other sculptors, goldsmiths and painters for its embellishment and finishing. Among the sculptors was Ippolito Scalza, a local architect who had already designed several buildings in Orvieto, including the Town Hall Palace. Great painters such as Gentile da Fabriano, Beato Angelico, Ugolino di Prete Ilario and Luca Signorelli contributed to the interior frescoes. Luca Signorelli painted the amazing San Brizio Chapel. Signorelli was one of Michelangelo's teachers and inspired his art for the painting of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Another building that is directly connected to the Duomo is the Tower of Maurizio, located in the Duomo Square right at the beginning of Via Duomo. On top of this short tower is an automated bronze statue that is still functioning, who beats the hours by hitting a large bell with a hammer. The tower is equipped with an Ariologium de Muricio, meaning the working area clock. This was meant to provide the construction workers the work schedule, while they were building the Duomo. The popular name given to the tower, Maurizio, seems to come from an evolution of the word Muricio, which means wall. Many original documents and papers about the faces of the Duomo construction are kept and displayed in the Opera del Duomo Museum.